Extreme weather is destroying crops in Queensland's salad bowl region. Hundreds of thousands of dollars of fruit and vegetables have already been dumped as growers brace for the third heat wave in a month. At this farm south of Toowoomba, more than 200,000 lettuces have been thrown out. Crops are actually burning off in the fields. Cauliflowers are also being dumped, ruined by scorching heat. Oh, very disappointing, not just for my cash flow, but for my orders through the stores, markets. I'm letting all that line of people down as well, or the weather is. Further south at Ballandine, it's tomatoes and capsicums that are getting sunburned. It starts to affect how the fruit colours. Uh, your quality of fruit is just not quite as good because the fruit's a bit more spongy and soft. Farm lobby group Growcom fears this damaging kind of heat could be the new norm. And we were looking at, you know, um, 2030 in terms of when some of these thresholds would be reached. But that critical threshold for horticultural crops has hit now, 13 years earlier than predicted. This is the hottest summer I've seen and it's been bad from end to end. Farmers are struggling too, keeping stock hydrated. Dry and dusty St George peaked at nearly 44 and there's little chance of rain, with the Bureau warning we're in for a six-day heatwave across a third of the state. We'll see widespread areas west of uh, Toowoomba seeing temperatures of 5 to 10 degrees above average in the, the coming days. The heat will hit its peak midweek with temperatures soaring to 44 in Coolpie, 46 in Baduri and Thargaminda and 48 in Birdsville. If Birdsville did get to 48 degrees, it would exceed the previous record we've seen in Queensland in February. For growers, the summer damage bill is already hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, waste. Yeah, it's all a waste. There's no sign of a cool change until later next week. Lexi Hamilton-Smith, ABC News. Well, for more, Jenny Woodward is here. Are any of these temperatures record-breaking, Jenny? Well, yes, Karina. The record for Birdsville in February was 45.8, but today those numbers just kept climbing and it reached 46.2 after 4 o'clock. Now, this animation shows how the temperatures will flow nationally day and night over the next week. Now, conditions are going to ease a little bit on the weekend, but then it will really start to ramp up again when, as we heard, more record-breaking numbers are expected. Birdsville's looking at 47 on Tuesday, 48 and on Wednesday. And the hottest ever in the state was 49.5 in Birdsville back in January 1972. I'll have more on the hot conditions and the rest of the forecasts a little later.